Hello and welcome to our second video in the uh, C Sharp series for Unity 3D. And if you recall, this is where we left off on our last video. We had a C Sharp program that did something under start and it also did something from us under update. And this is just where I saved it. What I want to do now is I want to create another C Sharp program. And we're going to talk about uh, things of, like statements and what have you. So I'm going to right click on the project panel, come to create, <clears throat> click on C Sharp script, and then I'm going to type in a name for this. I'm going to call it my script, S C R I P T, and press the enter key. Now, when I do that, let's see what's happened. I'm going to double click to open it. And there's the stuff we said in the previous video that we just had to remember to leave alone because <clears throat> the program needed this. There's the public class. But if you notice now, there's the name of my program, my script, just like I put right here, my script. So these have to match. So the point is, don't go back changing the name of this without changing it here. You have to leave it uh, that way. One of the things that we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about a uh, C-sharp statement. A, a C-sharp statement is a command to the browser. And the purpose, uh, I'm sorry, to the, uh, I'm thinking browsers, uh, is a command to the uh, Unity uh, 3D uh, system. So a C-sharp statement is going to be a command, and um, the, um, the purpose of the command is to tell uh, Unity 3D what to do. And one of the commands that we had, uh, a statement, was print. Remember, we did this last time, and I'm going to put uh, this is from start. What I've, and I always end a C-sharp statement with a semicolon. So just to verify that this works, here's my statement. I'm going to go ahead and save it, and then I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then one of the things that I forgot to point out last time was make sure that the maximize on play is not activated. In other words, if it is, turn it off, because we want to see on our console window what's happening when we run this. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. But before I do that, what do I have to do? I have to attach my script to something in the hierarchy, in, in the uh, scene, into the level. So I'm going to take my script and drag it to the camera, which is here in the scene somewhere. Okay, and I'm going to come back here to the console. If I click on camera and I look now in the inspector, I look right down there. There it is, my script. Notice what uh, the inspector panel did for me. It separated the name of my program into uh, two separate words. My script. It capitalized the first one, put a space in before the next capital uh, letter, and did it that way. My suggestion is, however, when you write a program in C Sharp for uh, Unity 3D, don't put spaces in the name. Uh, it, you know, you can use this kind of capitalization, which is called camel case, like the humps on a camel. Camel, the first letter is lowercase, and thereon every other word that you want in there is now uh, uppercase. Okay, so let's run this. Let's click on it. And uh, there it is. It says, this is from start. And so the, the, thing, the thing worked. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my script. And one of the things that we're, uh, so this is a, a C-sharp statement, and it simply tells the computer uh, or Unity uh, 3D what to do. Uh, C-sharp is case sensitive. What that means, lowercase print is not the same as uppercase P-R-I-N-T. This will now do something different. Watch what happens if I make this uppercase. I'm going ahead and, and save it. I'm going to close it, and when I close it, right away I get an error message. And it might be hard to read the error message up here, but if I come down to the bottom, it says assets, my script, dot CS, which means C sharp, and then it has an 8, 12 error, the name print, 
but the capital P does not exist in the current context. So if I look at 8, 12, this is telling me that on line 8, I have an error. So let's see. Of course, we know what that error is, but let's double click and come down to line 8. It's saying right here, I got it. And it says that it doesn't know what this means. And the reason why is because I've made this uppercase. So I can't do that. Uh, C sharp is case sensitive, and I have to pay attention uh, to that. Okay, so what we're going to do about the statements here is that what I've got here is this start. This start is a function, and a function uh, simply contains a series of statements. And the statements are usually in program blocks. And the program block is between the, the uh, uh, opening uh, uh, squiggly thing and the closing squiggly thing. And uh, uh, so that's, that's, where, uh, that's where the block codes go in. And um, uh, so let me put some more statements in here to show you what I mean about uh, uh, C-sharp statements. I'm just going to do a, a control C and I'm going to come here and press the enter key and do a control V and I put another statement in there and let me bring it here to line them up and now put this is from start again A G um, I'm sorry A G A I N okay and then I'm going to put a uh, another statement in there control V and bring this over and line it up okay like that and this is from start even again, E-V-E-N-A-G-A-I-N, and I'll end it in the period. So what I've got here, I've got a function called start with a capital S, and I have to honor that if I want it to be but the start thing. And it has a block of code between this opening squiggly thing and the closing squiggly thing. And within that block of code, it has three statements. So let's see what happens when I do this. I'm going to save it. I'm going to close it, and I'm going to come over here. Let me clear this here first, and then I'll go ahead and I'll run it. And when I run it, I see this is from start. This is from start again. This is from start even again. So what happened with these uh, series of statements? They were done in order. Now you might say, okay, that's pretty cool, but do I have to line them up like this? No, you don't. You could have everything over here on the left if you wanted. You wouldn't have to indent anything. And the program would still work as long as you made sure you ended each, each of your statements with a semicolon. However, it's easier to read and understand if you do it this way. Like I can see the block starts here and the block ends here. So I can see that every, and when this is indented, what I see is that these are the statements that go within this block that's contained within the function called start. Uh, the other thing I could have done, I could have made it so that all these statements are not on the same line. I'm going to do a control X and I'm going to put one of these statements up here. Now, C sharp can tell that this is the end of one statement and the beginning of another because of the semicolon. And it'll still work. Let's keep our fingers crossed that it does or it's going to be embarrassing. I'm going to go ahead and clear this right here, and I'm going to run it again, and there it is. This is from start. This is from start again. This is uh, from start even again. And the point is, is that it didn't make any difference to C sharp that these statements were not on separate lines because the the semicolon, when it ends, uh, where the semicolon is, that tells uh, the the computer that hey, that's the end of the statement. However, what we do is generally, in order to make it easier to read the program, um, we put, we put uh, each statement on a separate line. Okay, so uh, that's a wrap for this, uh, for this particular lesson. And uh, tune in for lesson number three on C Sharp uh, with uh, Unity uh, 3D. So thank you for watching.